In my 35 years as a contractor, we progressively went deeper and we were building sumps larger in diameter to displace more water. As an industry on a whole, this is what we did. And you know what? We got it wrong. One day I said, there's got to be an easier way. And that's when I started working on a horizontal sump station where it displaces more water than a 30 inch round, six foot deep sump pit. This is a first. A duplex lift station, fully plumbed for the DIY and contractor to put in any situation that demands a lift station sump pump system. This is not indoor material. This is not a cheap, flimsy basin. This is heavy, dual wall, culvert pipe. This is custom welded, custom made with an extended horizontal chamber that'll give you 80% less cycling of your sump pump, extending the life of the sump pump system. This will handle sheet water off the roof, sheet water off the driveway, your neighbor's yard water, your yard water. You can't build a yard drain system using indoor basins. It just doesn't work. It fails. This is a state-of-the-art, fully patented, everything about it. There's a handful of patents that go along with this. This is an exclusive, handmade, dual pump, duplex lift station that'll handle 10 inches of rain per hour. Nothing has ever been built like this before. Nothing has ever been made ready to set in the ground. Just dig a hole, install it, and you're all set for the DIY and contractor. This is an industry first. This is a game changer. There's Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, and I wanna talk about duplex systems. What you see in front of me is the housing to a micro bad seed duplex system. It's just easier to handle, easier to deal with and talk about and do you know just demonstration work for you guys, videos with the housing and not the pump and all the plumbing and everything that goes with it. These things get, they do get pretty heavy. So this is just the housing. There'd be a pump in this one, a pump in this one, and this would be a duplex model. Every single unit that we have in our catalog Every single one in our 2021 catalog can be made a duplex, anyone. One of my favorites is the 40 inch bad seed. We sell it all the time. People want a lot of slope, so they want something that's gonna be a deep dig. They wanna go 40 inches deep so that they can slope their system. The more slope, the faster you move the water, and you definitely, want a duplex system if you're moving water to that system and you're feeding it that quick. All right, so let me get rid of this housing so we can talk a little bit more about all the advantages of a duplex. Now what's gonna happen during really big rain events? When you need it the most is when you're gonna run into trouble. The very best pumps, the very best pumps will overheat and they throw a thermo switch. This is so that you don't burn up your pump. The problem is, once that pump throws that thermo switch, nothing's pumping water. This has to cool down. It has to reach a temperature to where it's safe to operate again, and then it'll turn back on until it reaches a really hot temperature again. So this is the problem during, say, here in the north, we'll get three, four inches of rain. That's a big rain event for us. I know in the south, you guys get crazy rain. Sometimes they measure it in feet during those tropical storms. You definitely need a duplex system because when one pump shuts off, at least you still have the other one to lean on. I highly recommend it. 
To be really honest with you, if you had two pumps running, it's so easy now that usually you won't even have a pump throw a thermo switch. One of the reasons why you want to try to reduce the chance of throwing a thermo switch, every once in a while, a thermo switch will trip a breaker in your electric panel. And then when it cools off, there's no chance at all that that thing is going to you know, run for you because there's no power to it. So duplex systems, I highly endorse them. I highly recommend them. I use them so that I don't get no callbacks. As a contractor, if I put in a duplex system versus a single pump system, I know nobody's ever going to call me. They're not going to wake up and look out the door and have a situation where they're pumped through the thermo switch and then maybe trip the breaker. And now they're calling me saying, hey, the system failed on the biggest rain event of the year because that's when it happens. So keep that in mind. I love duplex models. If you're a contractor, you'll never get a call if you have a two pump system. It's foolproof. A duplex protects your property better than anything. So I do recommend duplexes unless it is just a very small area that collects in ponds in the back and it doesn't harm no one. You can throw a, a breaker, you can have a thermo switch on a pump, throw a breaker, it doesn't mean anything. In the morning you could see the puddle in the backyard, you could go ahead, you know, flip the breaker back and just let it run. If that's the case, the single units are fine. So I showed you what the housing looked like to the, uh, this is the Screaming Demon. Let me, sh all right. So they get a little heavier when they're fully plumbed and uh, they have pumps in them. So the micro unit, we can ship in a box. This unit here gets shipped out just the way you see it. We do have to give you a double bell coupler so that you can make the connection, okay? So that's how this goes out as a duplex. Two boxes. Now the micro units, that's the micro bad seed, the micro screaming demon, which is before me, those can be shipped in boxes, but everything else is too big and it needs to go out in freight. So it has to go out on a pallet, keep that in mind. So I'll show you what the micro bad seed looks like and the big housing, the full frame, give you an idea. Okay, here is the micro bad seed in a duplex. We would ship this out in two separate boxes. Here's one unit, here's another. You got the two pumps. Now you have all that insurance you need. You don't have to worry. You can go on vacation. You don't have to be concerned because you have two pumps. A pump failure is not going to be a problem dewatering whatever your system's built for. When the waves are coming over in, in Michigan here, the Great Lakes, Lake St. Clair, when the waves are coming over the seawall, that's hard to keep up with. Duplex systems will. I do it all the time. It's my go-to. I'm starting to put in duplex systems for most everything just because I'm never going to be bothered. That's, that's key. So it's a little more insurance and it really, really does make all the difference in the world, in my opinion. You've already put in all the sweat equity, you've already put in all the hard work. A duplex model, it's, it's definitely, it has huge advantages over a single unit. So just something to consider. Now, again, you see the coupler, we would just ship this to where you could snap it together and that's it. Anything can be made into a duplex is what I'm trying to get across. Now, the chamber on this, here's a difference between the Screaming Demon and the Bad Seed. So let's make sure everybody understands this. The chamber is all one. You can look at that bottom chamber and it's just from one end to the other, it's all one. So you only need one heater. So that's the difference. We sell a heater in our online store for, you know, dry wells, big giant crocs, you know, the bad seed. However, I wouldn't recommend that one for the Screaming Demon and I'll tell you why. All right, so here's 
the micro screaming demon the full frame is just way bigger uh, for example <laughs> all right so that shows you the difference when you go to a full frame you're going to displace so much more water you're going to get a deeper dig you can see the height difference i love the full frame stuff we usually put in full frame it, it's a small water problem if i'm doing the micros and if i'm going to do a duplex in the micro units i prefer to do a screaming demon now talking about heaters Notice how we have two basins, two sumps in this unit, two sumps. We need two heaters because if we got a heater in one side, it's not going to heat the other side. Here's one half of a Screaming Demon duplex. The gray cord is the heater. We use a different heater, a special heater for the Screaming Demons. I can install that myself personally if you call the office and say, hey, I'm buying the duplex Screaming Demon or single, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get you the right heater for you. But the Screaming Demons take a different heater than the Bad Seed and, and the Mighty Mini, all those that take the full frame housing the full frame housing, the bad seed, and when you have a duplex and it's all just one chamber length, one heater will do. So we use a bigger heater. We, we use a totally different method to prevent the bad seeds from freezing and the way we protect the screaming demon from, from uh, freezing up. So we definitely have figured it all out. Our pain and joy the fruit of our labor because we streamlined it and it couldn't be easier for you guys. All right, everybody, until that next video.